I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. I like you. Between a 17 and a 21 and all of these things you talk about is exactly what you said. It's a minor, right? So when you acknowledge that it's a minor, the fact that you acknowledge that one is a minor and the other one isn't means that you know better. And you will still try to have sex with someone that you know is a minor. That means that they're not mentally or physically strong enough or emotionally stable enough for you to even try to say, as a grown ass man, you should not want to have sex with no child. So my question is, how long do we continue to give individuals like this access and control of our culture, have voices in our culture, to speak on behalf of our culture? You know, people say you hate and this and that. In the reality of the situation, this is not the first time he said some shit or done some shit derogatory to women that show his disregard. But now the man is pretty much talking about him being a pedophile. And the sad part is he's not alone. So it's going to be people who justify this coward shit that we're living in. And I'm asking, at what point do we stop allowing cowards to have access and control of our culture? At what point do we protect our young women, our young girls who might be prey to somebody like this, who might allow somebody like this to, to be able to manipulate them, to utilize them? Because basically he don't see them as anything more than just a piece of meat. It's, it's so disrespectful just listening to this. And I don't even have daughters, but I've had sisters and I have a mother and I have friends who are women. And to hear someone speak in this manner, right? And constantly speak in this manner and constantly disrespect and constantly cause violence in the culture and incite different shit in this culture. And we've seen it for numerous amount of years. And because somehow he is able to generate views, people want to overlook it. But at what point do we stop overlooking coward shit? At what point do we stop looking people who are detrimental to our culture, who are detrimental and disrespectful and actually predators to our young girls at what point do we say nah fuck how many views you get fuck how quote unquote entertaining you are we cannot allow you to continue to have access to this culture because you don't deserve it because you're more of a cancer you're more of a detriment to this culture than anything at what point do we say that at what point do we stop allowing suckers like this suckers like this to infiltrate into this culture and make it into some shit that is like a cesspool for suckers and cowards, I'm not going to say nothing. Y'all continue to perpetuate, to peacefully coexist with shit like this. Y'all continue to say he's the voice or some other shit, whatever you want to call it. Y'all keep doing it. But I know from day one, I told y'all this man was a cancer. And every day, he continues to prove it.